If we come to a minefield, our infantry attacks exactly as it were not there. The longer the battle lasts, the more force we'll have to use. We will do all we can to ensure peace, but if war is imposed upon us, we will be together shoulder to shoulder, as in the last war to strive for the happiness of mankind. It is a fact that under equal conditions, large-scale battles and whole wars are won by troops which have a strong will for victory, clear goals before them, high moral standards, and devotion to the banner under which they go into battle. Winning depended to a large extent on the determination of the troops and the officers. The certainty that we were going to win, kept up everyone's spirits, from privates to generals. The nature of encounter operations, required of the commander's limitless initiative and constant readiness, to take the responsibility for military actions. If they attack, we will defend. If they do not attack until winter comes, then we will and will tear them to shreds. Nazis did not expect Soviet resistance to be so strong. The deeper they moved into this country's territory, the more fierce it became. When Hitler's armies approached Moscow, every man and woman here thought it imperative to resist the enemy. And that resistance grew by the day. The enemy was sustaining heavy losses, one after another. In fact, Hitler's best troops perished here. Nazis believed the Red Army was not capable of defending Moscow, but their schemes failed. The mere existence of atomic weapons, implies the possibility of their use. There's no smoke, without fire. 